Welcome everyone to another installment of the Cali Chronicles. I'm just getting off work here, but I want to briefly talk about a track I did this morning. Now the hunter wishes to remain anonymous, but I did uh, I did record the actual track of Cali working, and um, I'll tell you a little bit about the hunt, and you'll see right here beside me uh, the specs of the hunter, uh, the equipment he was using, the bow and the broadhead and all that good stuff, and draw weight. So if you want to take a look at that, pause the video and and analyze it for whatever information you're looking for but at any rate Hunter called me or texted me early this morning um, saying he shot a, a doe standing broadside from a ground blind and I'm gonna use my bow hunt simulator app that's the name of this app I'm using to give you these uh, three dimensional I'll let you watch it right here on the screen as I, I, I set the, the settings here for deer that's 10 yards away elevation of my stand is three feet I'm gonna say the bow was three feet off the ground when the air released and then I'm gonna aim just back a little bit from what the hunter told us we kind of know that this was likely a double lung shot um, being level with the deer broadside um, double lung this deer shouldn't have gone far but the problem was he didn't find but one drop of blood and mainly because the the arrow went through the deer and it didn't exit low because he was level with it so it didn't allow for the blood to pour out of the body it pulled up in the chest cavity so anyway I brought Cali over there and the reason I wanted to show this track even though there's not a whole lot to go with it there's a lot of good stuff that Cali's body language and just listening and watching her tells me as a tracker and I'm learning all this every time I go on track I learn a little bit more find it good girl Yes, yeah, so she's going back up in here again. Let's see where she takes us. That deer could have went right up through here. I just got to find some blood on these leaves. What you got? She's sniffing this, this tree right here. I want you to notice right here when she stopped. Right there she stops and you can hear her nose clicking and, and that sound every time I hear her clicking tells me she's really picking up something. I got blood right here. Good girl. On that blade of grass right there. So I quickly moved over there and uh, and sure enough there was a drop of blood there. And I'm not sure if Callie was sniffing it or just sniffing where the deer had actually stepped into the ground, the, the inner digital gland that, that leaves scent. But now we know we're on the right track. We've advanced the track. So now I'm going to let Callie continue because now I know we're on the right deer. I don't see any tracks. You smell it, girl? You smell it? The wind's coming from that way. So immediately that tells me with the wind in my face and Callie's sniffing the air that she smells the deer likely and we're probably getting close. This would be easy. I'd be able to see blood if she went through here. Should be anyway. Yep. We got blood right here on the corn stalk. She smells the deer. She lift, keeps lifting her head. It's right there. Take a picture of that for me. Hey, here's deer tracks right here. See if I can find some blood on the stalks. I'm not seeing any blood. Yeah, I got blood right here. I hate cornfields. I had blood back there.
As it turns out, this hunter uh, actually shot this deer, it was slightly quartering towards. And uh, so the arrow hit and then angled back out a little bit. He did get both lungs and the liver, um, which proved to be a, a nice ethical quick kill. It's just because he was level on the ground with the deer, uh, both the entry and exit wounds were high on the deer to where all the blood pooled in the body and it didn't leave a very good blood trail. So there won't be any autopsy. I couldn't stick around for that because I had to get to work. But uh, Hunter did send me pictures of the lung and lungs and liver, and so you can see where the broadhead went through that. Things are a little slow right now. It's early season. Don't get a whole lot of calls. Maybe one here and there every other day, but that'll pick up soon, and uh, we'll have some more episodes for you. If you're not a subscriber and you like what you see, please click the subscribe button and then hit that little bell icon right beside it so you get notified every time there's an upload. And put your comments down there. Uh, welcome your feedback what would you like to see is there other information about the hunter setup that you'd like to see that I'm not showing you know all that stuff is welcome until the next episode good luck out there in the woods and hopefully you won't need a tracking dog